right, that's a nice creek chub, be a good bait. What is up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape, and today I'm out here on the Missouri River on a local sandbar, and it was this time last year, actually this year, time last year, yesterday, that I caught an 80 pounder on this sandbar using a big live creek chub like this. 10 -0 circle hook, the eight ounce weight to keep it down there. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this big old live creek chub right through the nostril like that, and he'll stay alive a long time and hopefully we get a big taker, but let's hope we have some luck tonight. It's one of the last nice days of the year. It's uh, the end of October, and uh, we'll see what we get. All right guys, we might have something on worm on this mini pole. I bought it for 10 bucks off Amazon. Free shipping and no tax. We'll see if we got anything. Looks like we might have something. Pretty surprised at this like survival fishing pole. It's only 10 bucks. It basically is a pen fishing pole. It collapses down into a little pen. So we'll see what we got. Fishing with a size one hook and big piece of night crawler. Probably either a carp, a sturgeon, or a small catfish. With the river, you never really know, or a turtle, or a gar. Let's see if I can get down here and net him. This looks like a sturgeon. All right, got a nice little shovel nose sturgeon. Prehistoric looking fish. You gotta be really careful with these guys because they got some extremely sharp spines on them. A year ago, I came here and caught a pallet sturgeon a little bigger than this, just pure albino. They're an endangered species. This is just a shoveled nose, so it's not endangered, but pretty numerous. And they don't get a whole lot bigger than this. They get to about, this guy's almost probably a pound. They don't get much over three pounds. The pallet sturgeon, though, can get up to like 60 plus pounds. Foil dinners, we got some mixed vegetables and some chicken in here. We're gonna go ahead and cook it up on this fire we just got going on the big sandbar. And uh, foil dinners, you can't hardly go wrong. They're pretty hard to burn, pretty hard to screw up. But uh, they're great for the campfire, you can just throw them on the fire. And uh, we'll check them probably in 10 minutes, flip them over, cook them another 10. Should come out nicely. Kitchen, I don't know. Coming in pretty easily, but it's definitely got some weight to it. Since it's kind of dead weight, now it's coming up to the surface. I'm gonna, it looks like a sturgeon. It looks like about another pound sturgeon. Right now, pretty much just reeling them up off the bottom, off the top. These smaller sturgeons don't put up too big of a fight, but you can get some felled sturgeons. It's pretty rare, but those can put up a little more of a fight. It's a little bigger than the last one, not a, or maybe about the same size. Must be his brother, but uh, another shovel nose sturgeon. See, he's got that brown color. Size one hook and some worm. Check this guy back in the water. All right, guys, our steaming meal. We got some fresh vegetables, and we got two chicken patties in there. Look pretty good. And the other one's just about done on our fire. Caught two sturgeons so far. We had one potential fish, but we were snagged, so it, we had to break it off. I threw out a new creek chub. But a uh, good night overall. Just nice to get out, even if we don't catch any monsters tonight. But could be one of the last nice days of the year. Sun just set.